Welcome back to Making a Major. Uh, this is stage six from the Outland Empire USPSA level two. Um, got it loaded up here in Practice Sim Designer. Let's have a look at the WSB. So, uh, this is a 20 round 100 point standards exercise. There are 10 IPSC targets, best two hits per target will score. Start position or start signal is audible. Uh, handgun start position is standing anywhere in the respective shooting area with wrist below belt. Handgun loaded and holstered. PCC start position standing anywhere in the respective shooting area. PCC loaded, stock on belt safety on. So respective shooting areas would be string one on the left, string two on the right. So what's going on here? Um, for string one, on the audible start signal, engage targets one through five. That would be these five. From the left shooting area, with only two rounds each, we can only perform a mandatory reload between first and last shot. All right. On the right side, same thing, except this will be targets 6 through 10. Strong hand only, also performing a mandatory reload between first and last shot. Yeah, so... Um, it's a standards exercise, meaning it does have to be two strings. Uh, that also makes this a Virginia count stage, right? So extra shots, extra hits, count. Um, with the standards exercise, we can also specify a mandatory reload. So um, there's a reason why the stage is called This is the Board's Fault. And that was because this was originally two separate short courses. Um, when the board came out with their uh, plans for rules back in December, we were like, yes, we can specify stronghand weekend on short courses. Nice. As it turns out, that did not make it into the rulebook. So match directors, range masters, stage designers also got a game of the rules. We did. We took two stages, combined it into one. Um, there used to be steel back here. There is no longer steel because it's Virginia count. Yep. So, let's talk about the left side. Um, yeah, you can start anywhere. So you really got, you really got your choice here. Um, I'm going to guess most people are going to start in the back. You can also start in the front. But, you know, weekend only. You're going to draw probably shoot these two, do a reload, maybe come over here, shoot these guys, and then right there's your last one. We've strategically placed some walls, covered up these windows, so that you cannot see the other targets. You can only see the ones that you can shoot. We did that on purpose, because, you know, trying to track, like, which target you can shoot when you're up here, you, like, see this target, and you could see this one. Like, I'd be like, ah, oh, which one do I shoot? Well, we're not going to let you be put in that position. Same thing, on the right side. Target nice and open. From the right side, we got these guys. And then through the little window, we got that one. Same thing, can't see any of the other ones. Except that. And I bet... Okay. That's my fault. <laughs> Oops. Oh look, problem solved. <laughs> well, during setup, during our RM proofing, that, you know, we'd have fixed that anyways. Because, you know, we don't want to put people in that position. So, um, we kind of talked about, like, what you can do here from where you can see stuff. So, um, what, what are the scoring implications here, right? So, we've got Virginia count... Okay, so we've got extra shots, extra hits. That's pretty easy. Um, shot timers and ROs can count. So each string, you can figure out how many shots were taken. That's pretty straightforward. Um, extra hits, same. You just It's all open paper on this one. This one's already complicated enough. We didn't want to put like hardcover and like really complicate it. So there you go. Like an extra hit is an extra hit. It's really easy. If you shoot three at a target, you're probably going to have an extra hit. And you might have to deal with an extra shot unless you only take one shot. Um, this is not fixed time, so there are no no penalty mics. Meaning if you don't shoot at a target, 
FTSAs. If you don't have two hits on a target, those are mics. Things to think about. Um, also, there is a mandatory reload between the first and last shot. So Most of the time when you see mandatory reload involved, like if you watch the stage 5, um, what happens is you see shoot array, perform reload, shoot array. Right? Or shoot these three targets with two shots each, so six shots, reload, shoot another three targets with two shots each. Right? Um, you can get into a trap there where you forget to do your reload and you start shooting. You're like, oh shit, reload. And then now we have to think, well, how many shots did he take over the allowed amount of shots? Um, ROs will have to keep track of that. So with us saying perform a mandatory reload between first and last shot, it is your choice when you reload. You can do it right at the front. You can do it right at the back. You can not do it at all if you want to. Um, so, uh, we are very deliberate in our word choice between first and last shot, okay? There's only one shot required after the reload, which means you can only get one procedural, right? Makes it really easy. People aren't going to come to me as the RM and go, oh, well, how many penalties is this? One. One procedural. Very easy. Um, we don't have to think, we don't have to ask how many shots were taken after X, Y, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Up to one. Cool. I like... I like it. It's it's nice. We were very intentional with it. Making sure that we didn't have to make weird calls. Trying to eliminate the weirdness. Um, I did have to argue with Troy about it a little bit. Because he was like, oh, it's better to specify. I... Personally, I disagree. I think this is better. It gives you the choice, and we know exactly how many. It's always only going to be up to one. Anyways, uh, that was stage six from the Outland Empire, USPSA, level two.